A diver loses an arm after apparently being hit by a passing boat. It happened Thanksgiving Day off of Palm Beach. Today, a witness is describing what happened. News Channel 5's Matt Sesney is live at St. Mary's where the diver was taken. Megan, a hospital spokesperson here just told me a short time ago that the 25 year old victim is in critical condition here tonight. As you mentioned, we had been told that the young man lost an arm in this accident. That coming from a woman who says she was there yesterday when she saw the diver and other snorkelers out in the water. We didn't know if it was a shark attack or something like that. Samantha Maruli was on the shore on Thanksgiving Day in Palm Beach when it happened. A diver apparently hit by a passing boat, she says, and seriously injured by the propeller. I noticed that the gentlemen that were on the boat and the, the divers, snorkelers, um, they were putting a man onto the back of the boat. Samantha says the diver had appeared to lose his left arm and suffered a serious injury to his right knee. He was ghost white, um, not talking, completely in shock, and... Uh, that's where you saw the knee and the arm. Firefighters, she says, were in the water in full gear, rushing to get the man to the hospital. Samantha says that she did see a red and white dive flag where the diver and snorkelers were, about 100 feet offshore. 70% of all dive accidents happen on the surface. Dive master instructor Chris McKenna of the Boynton Beach Dive Center. Not only are we supposed to carry the standard red flag with the white diagonal stripe, Boaters are supposed to recognize that and stay away from it. Not all boaters do. All right, just 20 minutes ago, we did get a statement from Florida Fish and Wildlife in charge of this investigation. They tell us that the 30-year-old driver of the boat admits to seeing the dive flag and says he did throttle down, but still came in contact with that diver. And again, that 25-year-old diver in critical condition at this hour. We're live in West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.